We are here at the Jurassic Park Tribute Store. I hate opening days of stuff, so this is gonna be a nightmare. Let's, let's go check it out. Casey, what are your opinions on vloggers? They're the worst. Oh, hey. <laughs> Anyone specifically? <laughs> no. So I wanna make this very clear. I love Universal. And I love Jurassic Park very much. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And I'm very excited to be here at the Jurassic Park Tribute Store. But the fact that the first thing I see is a sickly dying Triceratops is very unsettling to me. It was possibly, may or may not, have been used in the movie. And was possibly, may or may not, but more than likely, used at Islands of Adventure when uh, Jurassic Park had like a little walkthrough encounter thing with dinosaurs. But apparently they may have gotten rid of it because, you know, it's very sad to see a sickly dying Triceratops. <laughs> Let's go check out the inside of the store. I've only seen minor spoilers. Casey hasn't seen anything, though. No, Casey has seen some. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Apparently, I've been told that this is like a like making of the movie. For the Casey's nodding at me. They have some little. Uh, if you look to your left, you could find a action figure esque, stop motion esque. Uh, animation of that scene where the guy gets eaten and the, the, the electric fence and stuff like that. It's because they were going to use stop motion before they decided to use uh, special effects like they did in the movie. And apparently when Phil Tippett saw that they were using the special effects and how good they looked, uh, he said that we're all going to be out of a job now. Um, there's a guy right there. Um, that's a guy. It's not Phil Tippett. Apparently we're supposed to know who Phil Tippett is. Here is some merchandise from the uh, recently released uh, Elvis movie starring Austin Butler. I don't know why it's here in the Jurassic Park store. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Awesome. $11. For a keychain. <laughs> Somebody cut this shirt in half. Don't know why. Uh, who would the, ever wear that? They crop the top. They what? They crop the top. Like it's just the top. Really? Yeah. I do that with my shorts. Do you really? Yeah, it's, it's actually a, I can't say that joke. <laughs> I just cut it in the center. Call it a crotch top. <laughs> Here's a logo bag that I actually do like a lot. I like a lot of these, like, I wouldn't use it, personally. I have a Jurassic Park bag right now. Casey's going to show you. The door is open. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> yes, I could show you that the door is open. There you go. And this is a Funko one. Got it a real long time ago. Um, let's see some other stuff. Roosevelt has some shirts here. Um, they're both cool. Check out this design. This, check out this design as well. Casey likes both of these. He likes this one more. It's an interesting minty color, which you would not expect. Uh, and then we're going to check out so two more that also have shorts with them. And then this one, which I will be getting in the very, very near future. Probably not today, but in the very near future. They also have shorts versions of this. I might get the whole fit. Can I get the whole fit? The whole fit. <gasps> they have the... Oh, the, the can. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's so fun. I bet it's on the shirt, too. Oh, yeah, it's on the shirt. They did release this a little bit ago. Um, I think last month. This is part of their last month's drop. But, and look at that. It's got the whole map. Their tags are the coolest tags in the world. They are really cool. I know it, like... Sounds a little dumb to... And now we're going into the next room, which is a photo op of the kitchen scene from Jurassic Park when the two kids are in the kitchen getting chased by the Velociraptor. And there's a little photo op here where you can be scared, crapless, under a Velociraptor. I keep wanting to say Velocicoaster on accident, if I'm being honest. We got the Minions hats. They're already, they're already starting the merchandise on the Minions ride. It hasn't opened yet. They'll both be up at the same time sooner or later. But to be fair, there are bananas up there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so there's the other photo op right there. So this is another photo op of the scene where the man gets eaten on the toilet. It's a very funny scene, because lawyers suck, and the lawyer gets eaten. Casey, I have a very important question for you. When you checked in the toilet, was there poop in it? <laughs> it didn't open, so I sure hope not, because there's a lodged turd in there just sitting there for nobody to know. I guess we'll come back in like two weeks, and if it starts smelling in this room, we know why. And then we got the, uh, obviously this is a little reference here to, uh, does this spin? Oh, it does! Okay, good. All right, I was like, I was, if it doesn't spin, what was the point? 
Co. So obviously that's a little reference to the scene where Nidri is uh, trying to get out of Dodge and uh, you know hits the sign, spins the dock sign, and because he can't remember where it was. And then there's this little guy here, and I say little guy because I can't remember what they're called. But he's the one that spits acid in Nidri's face, and then uh, you know, K words Nidri. I kind of wish at that door over there they had another Velociraptor like peeking its head through like in the original movie. I don't remember that part. <sighs> I feel like I'm not allowed to touch it. Just give it a little kiss. <laughs> you could say no. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> this is also why I hate opening day so goddamn much because there's way too many people here and I keep having to stop and I know I'm a self-righteous vlogger but I, I i demand most highest most importance here at any theme park i'm the most important guest i need a <laughs> and, vip tour guide. and just to clarify it is 10 o'clock in the morning it is 10 o'clock in the morning so this is gonna it is worse. yeah this is this is like they just opened the doors and uh <laughs> it's sure already cheering they have two different versions of the license plates here a dirty one and a clean one uh, now, I don't believe these are going to be street legal in Florida at any point. But then again, a lot of stuff is becoming illegal in Florida that should never have be been considered to be illegal in Florida. So, we don't know. Apparently, they put the main breaker for all of Universal Studios Florida right here in the Tribute Store. Except the switch is not... Not, not happening. Don't know why. Also, this dinosaur has been frozen in time. Let's keep moving to the next one. See the fun thing about this photo op? What's the fun thing about this photo op? Get your flashlight out. Get my flashlight out? What is that? <gasps> <laughs> that's actually really cool. Yeah, it's a nice that's, that's an arm. When I saw the photo op here. I was like... <laughs> um, this is the big logo room. I like this jersey right here. Do you like this jersey? It's okay. Um, we've got the Jurassic Park sign. Uh, another great photo. Great. Line. Honestly, this is a uh, better, more yeah. accurate model than the one they have at Islands of Adventure, possibly. <laughs> the, the, photo ops, the photo ops in here this year are actually amazing. I do like them a lot. Too bad there's no room for them, and there's <laughs> way too many people in here. Yeah. Take a, here, stay there and get a photo of me, kind of. Just, just keep recording. There you go. There's a good photo op. Um, Casey's gonna take talk us through the treats. Ryan saw treats and he was like, "Get the fat guy over here. It's fine." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got cupcakes, Tri trifle, trifle. What the heck is trifle? I don't know. Where's the jar? Oh, so I'm pretty sure there were supposed to be jars here, but I think all the jars are gone. Cookie dough balls. I may actually get some of those. Cookies. Oh, Diano DNA. Mr. DNA cookies, that's fun. Jurassic Park logo cookies. And fudge. I don't care for fudge. This is the checkout line right now. Uh, this is way too crowded, way too crowded. I played it smart this time, and I got something I know I will for sure like. In the past, these tribute stores have had some not good treats, and let me reference this clip right here. I wasn't got, I don't know if I could have any more of this. That stuff is not, what is it? Like, I don't know, it's gelatin of some the, kind. It tastes like the stuff that comes in like ice packs. You taste that a lot? Yep. It tastes like nerds, just like. Oh, I don't like this one. No? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I don't like it at all. I'm sorry. I cannot open this. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't open this. <laughs> Casey, you're my hero. Oh, these have been sitting out for a couple of days. <laughs> That's my first. Uh, so these are cinnamon glazed cashews. I like the almonds that they have, like cinnamon glazed ones that they have, mostly during like winter, but also it's like a theme parky thing. Snack reveal. I got a cookie dough ball, and we said, what are the flavors? And it was vanilla, chocolate, and peanut butter. So I got vanilla, and I just realized it kind of looks like a dino egg, and cool. I like that. Casey, look at the bottom of it and tell me that that's vanilla. I don't 
think that's vanilla. That's, I don't even know about that cheese. Ooh, I like that though. One of these, five bucks. That's too much, that's too much. Before we close out our day here at Universal, we're gonna check out some of the other things that have been updated around the park, including Minions stuff. There's a new Minions land that's opening soon. Now I say new Minions land, it's not really new. The Minions ride has always been here, but this sign is brand new. As of yesterday, there was walls. Now there are no walls around it. They're coming out of this hatch. Some Something leads me to believe that it's not actually a hatch. Supposedly, Universal said that there's supposed to be 22 minions on this one little statue, and I think I've counted this twice now, and I've counted 21. So, I don't know if I'm just missing one, and if I am, I'm very annoyed that I'm missing only one. The one that you're missing is literally the word minion. That's one of the minions. That's one of the minions. You think you're funny. Live footage of Casey trying to count all the minions. He's counting 21 again. What? I counted 22. On top of the new sign, obviously, I don't know if you saw anything about this. It, they originally said June. Maybe they didn't say June, but the permits nope. were filed until June. Nobody said June. Midsummer is what they said. This is a moving walkway attraction where you got guns and you shoot at targets. We'll see how that ends up uh, happening. Uh, they do have, oh, we got workers out today finishing the facade of the brand new restaurant that's up here. Let me show you. This is the old Monster Cafe, RIP. Now it is Minions. You can see they're working on it over here. But they're not dressed up as Minions. They are not dressed up as Minions. Casey, talk about it. No, but I apologize to the person on Twitter. I did see this on, uh, it was a very funny tweet and I don't remember who they are at the moment, but they said that they should be dressed, <laughs> the workers should be dressed up like wearing yellow vests and like overalls and be like, essentially be cosplaying as minions while they do this. Cause that's very funny. I do like that. That would be very funny. On top of the new dining location, apparently they're having a banana themed like popcorn cart up here, which will be cool. I don't know how long that novelty is gonna last. Casey, would you try it? Just to say I did, I don't like bananas, so. But I love popcorn, so that's the predicament I'm in. Casey does tell me that the banana popcorn is apparently from Japan. They already have it over there. They're just bringing it over here. Thank you for that fun fact, Casey. You're welcome. And with that, we're headed back to the store to grab some shirts. And then I think that'll be the end of the video, probably. We are headed back inside because I have decided I'm getting the Roosevelt shirt that I wanted. Don't mind if I do. Look at you. Hi. You're just you're just copying me. You're you're, uh, you're just copying me. You're a influencer. Yep. <laughs> One of the other cool aspects of this store is the very final room has all of these retro merchandise items like the soundtrack and a fries container from McDonald's when the original movie released. Some ties, a bunch of a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Board games, oh wow. It's like a miniature version of like the movie and movie poster types thing. I don't know. The only fortunate part is that you can't buy any of these things and I'm very jealous that these, they're just taunting me. Oh, oh, oh. a lap tray for like TV dinners and like Japanese, oh, the video game, the, uh, uh, the little handheld, that's cool. Shoes, apparently those are recent. Those are definitely not retro. Have to be recent. And the centerpiece of this final room is this old toy set, which honestly, like it was legitimately old because you could tell the sticker here is like falling off a little bit. My gosh. It's a little stripped down, and I'm pretty sure that dinosaur in the middle was did not come with it. Maybe it did? I don't know. This is crazy. I got stuff. I got stuff. Are we going to do the merch haul? Merch haul! So, as you uh, see, we have a bag here. We got a couple things. 
we got the previously shown Roosevelt here with Dennis Nedry on there and some Barbasol cans. Previously shown Roosevelt. Uh, but, oh, hey, look, they even have the sickly dying Triceratops on this one. <laughs> I didn't even realize that when I bought this. Hilarious. But yep, this is, this is my, this is the shirt I got from myself. I love it. Can't wait to wear it. 10 out of 10 shirt. And then this was the first thing I said I'm going to buy. When I saw this on Twitter, I was like, it's an immediate buy. So, sexy Ian Malcolm plush. Had to get him. Uh, it's hilarious that this is a plush now, because it's a very specific scene, but I love it. I had to get it. I think that's it for us. Um, if you like these uh, store videos where we go through the store and check out merch and stuff, let us know. If you don't, sorry. Uh, the tribute stores happen all the time. So, uh, Casey has something to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Tell Ryan to put me in more videos, apparently. Okay, bye.